Okay. Can, the way that we do marriage now mm -hmm. is not correct. All right. Because the commitment and the value system, hold on, the most vulnerable people. Exactly. Yeah, and I agree. Rolo, yeah. you're married. But he knows it. He <laughs> wrote it. In about in general terms. <laughs> let, me, let me explain this. The way that we do marriage now today is not the way that we should have been doing marriage. It's not the way that if marriage is supposed to represent from a biblical standpoint, the relationship between Christ and the church, right? Then where mm -hmm. do the church get to tell the Christ what's going to happen or they're going to, they're going to divorce the Christ. It yeah. doesn't, that's, that's not working. That doesn't work right. Okay. So okay, that's supposed me, to be the, it, that, 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 that yeah, marriage, marriage isn't what it used to be. It's the not, main it's reason why, why women would divorce is if, you step out on the marriage no. or, yeah, majority of time, or if, or if you had a kid. But... And the main reason why those are the deal breakers is because, you know, I promise to love you through sickness and through, and through health, not through you cheating and stepping out on our marriage because we made the commitment to say that we're staying together. Okay, so if you turn around and back door and have a kid on me, or you step outside of this marriage, I'm, forced to believe that this is not what you want to do so i'd rather just remove myself before i continue to get hurt let well let's they all cheat they all cheat because let's say that cheating took place because you stopped putting out yeah well, what if it's because of that well why, I'll why do you think why do you not. think she stopped putting out that's what i was about to say well, most because she wasn't doing dishes enough <laughs> there, there's plenty like, of that's not a, that's not a good enough there, reason there, there, it's not a good enough reason a lot of articles and a lot of the media will sometimes I just say did an episode on short play yeah I yeah like, play. Like, okay, I'll put it like this I'll put it like this say for like how you just said one of the reasons why is because that they, they'll keep it away is because they're not happening around the house if I'm married like you said we want our man to be the provider we want our man to be the head of the household and I want you to also have your priority together like we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. If you're not help, if you see that I've been working just like you've been working and you're not and you come home and you just lay down and just try to go to sleep and I'm up cleaning the kitchen, making food, working with the kids, I'm going to feel like, well, what the hell am I doing this for? For one, two, I'm going to feel like, well, I could do this shit by myself. You know what I mean? It makes me look at you different, like you a bitch, like you you don't have your stuff together. Because <laughs> this is why. why so are, you are you the one working though? If he's the one that's providing and he's working, he's going outside eight to eight to ten to twelve hour days, working to provide for the family. Are right, your job is to be at home and take care of the kids in the household. But right? it's not. It's not. You know, I'm asking you if that's the case. But if I'm asking you if that's the case, you know. Yes, making more money. That's exactly enough. no. But when you break it, not, no, I, that's a precipitator. Me, that's not the number one reason. But if it's you're not, the one that's infidelity, at home, if you're the one that's at home, and I'm the one that's going to work, why should I come home and help you clean up, do your job? Okay, two things. One, <laughs> two things. One, it depends on the situation. Me personally, even if I'm married, I'm going to still be working. Because one, I like to work. Two, I have talents. I'm not working just, uh, my man can pay all the bills. I still want to do what makes me happy, make me some money, you know, work a little bit. I can put that towards other things, you know, but I'm still going to make some money. That's one. Two, if we just, let's just say that I am the stay at home wife. Okay. While you're out at work, I'm making sure all the kids got, got to practice on time. Still I'm easier. Sure I'm I'm cleaning the house. Cleaning Still easier. No, I'm let me let me let me give the whole rundown. Let me get the whole rundown. Cleaning the house. I know me personally, it, it takes me two hours just to clean my room in the bathroom because I deep clean. That's two. Three, making sure all the finances. Yeah, you're going out working, but I'm the one that's sitting at home putting together all the finances. Papers. But I'm running the finances. No, the you, you paying, money. but I'm making sure everything else line up together. Like, it's somebody they got to... Because most of the time, if we're talking about this specific situation, all the man is going to do is just send the money, let me know how much it is, and you take care of it. That's going to happen. Let's not say money. that you were the breadwinner of the house. Would you give all the money to the husband that was a stay-at-home dad? Would you feel comfortable I, with that? I wouldn't be with nobody that's a stay-at-home dad. We <laughs> both need to work. Just, 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 you, we you, both you're you're right, own. honestly. This economy. Like, think about it. <laughs> Is it wise for anybody to give over all their money that they earn to the person that's not yes. wasting their money? I would love it's it. Not. It's not. 
I, I would I'm love sorry. to do well, that's it. Why, that's why I said, that's why I said it, different strokes for different folks. Me personally, I'm not going to be a stay at home wife. We're both going to be working. We're both going to find common ground to where we can make the household run smoothly what? with us not being there. But it's some women that's that right. is fine with being the same. Problem. Yeah, but it's some women that don't mind being a stay at home wife. And if that's what you do, then you have to be comfortable with knowing that my, my man is the one making the money. Honestly, by that point, it's what he says goes because he's the one that's funding the whole house. That's why me personally, I'm we, we got we can we can both work. Uh, so we can uh, no, but, but what if we, what, 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 one second, Glenn, I gotta ask her this. Why like don't you don't don't you realize that feminism really wants what you just said? Like the the, the husband working full time, the wife also trying to work too. Sometimes that's not even necessary. But, like like say you have a husband that makes a lot of money. That like you should be at home focusing on the house, focusing on the kids, focusing on other things. The fact that feminism has taught women today that you always got to be working, you got to be hustling just as much as your man. That's all so not, false, and no, like we need I'm to focus saying, on the household more. I'm it's not, not worth saying it to do so, all that. So if my man can take her to the whole house, he can take her to the whole house. Me personally, I've I'm gonna speak for me personally. I've always been. A worker, my every woman in my family. I don't want to tell you, but I'm saying bad habits. That's a bad habit. It's all. I like to say it again. Taking care of your husband and the family is not work. No, it is work. It is work. But I also would like to do some things that makes me happy. For example, say for instance, if I love to do video editing. That I might find a job, even with me being a stay at home wife, I could still try to fit in time. I think it's to fine to do something, something part time. It's just yeah, scary, whatever. No. But, 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 but what I've heard a lot out of your mouth is kind of like that you really think that, like, y'all no, both kind of need to be I'm working. I'm not the saying same we amount. both, no, 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 I'm not saying we both need to be like running around, running around. But I mean, if I do want to do that, I should be able to do that. If I do want to work, I think just sacrificing to have like the kids the and doing something like that and making it to where the kids yeah. are taken care of more by other people and stuff is not worth it. The all. number one occupation that divorces a man is a stay at home mom. Just remember that because you get lazy. The women get lazy. They stop wanting to feel like themselves. I feel like every human, whether you're married or unmarried, should be able to go out and see the world at least once a day so they can feel good about themselves. Even if it's I, looking, like I said, looking up. You need a hobby. Like Thanks. you need something. Yeah, that's why I was saying like need a that's, hustle. that's what I mean by working. If, but, like, but 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 the shit I mean like that working. takes five like five to ten hours a week, you know, like it's not like something that's like a really big deal. The biggest thing is the focus. Like if a mother isn't focusing on her kids, this is exactly what the powers that be that want. They want all the kids going and being raised by the fucking elementary schools that are all fucked yeah, up, no. being raised by their iPads. And when the mothers aren't doing motherly things mm-hmm. and they're focusing on careers, focusing on all this other bullshit, focusing on competing with their man, that the, the kids get ruined. It's different if you're if you're married and my husband is in the place to where he can take care of the household. Then I will take a step back and be the one to focus on the kids and still have my own things on the side that I feel like I can enjoy. But if I'm married and my husband cannot take care of everything by himself, I don't have no problem working. If I'm unmarried and I'm just with somebody, we but we both could be working doing our own thing. So you know so, so, I mean? so so men can do that here. Eighty thousand dollars a year, probably about eighty k a year. But most women won't do that with a guy making eighty k a year because they want more vacations or they want this nice thing. They want to go to dinners at the and that's places. why it should be okay with women doing a little part time jobs. I need a little money so I can go out. Well, so like, I don't that's, know, I want, I want most men are barely though. making 40k a year. Yeah, yeah. Most, like, that's a top one percent person. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so will you downgrade lifestyles though to have a family and to have a, a and have kids one day? Would you downgrade lifestyles? Earlier, I was yeah, telling you. It that- depends on where where you at in life. Me in life, I'm not ready to. That's why I'm not ready to have kids or be in a relationship. I know I'm not ready to. I'm selfish right now. I'm not ready to fully give my all. So, what age would, 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 would you lower the, your standards? <laughs> you don't gotta say it like that. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I mean, it's not lower well, standards. It's just like you know, stepping into what era I'm supposed to be in in my life. Right now, I'm not in the wife girlfriend type of vibe but, but they're like an age where you're I, gonna be like you know what i'm gonna i, I really want a family and kids now like i'm gonna I mean, i'm gonna lower some of these i'm not gonna have. say for me it's an age i'm gonna say it's more so once i accomplish more of the things that i want to accomplish because like you said when you get married and when you have kids you have to put your focus more so into that i don't want to be happy because i hear a lot of times what do you want to accomplish is it a financial thing no, it's just How like you? Things that I've, goals that I've always wanted to have just from but, being but a kid. But they're not financial? Like, it doesn't have to be financial. When, when it comes to, I mean, when it comes to when, marriage, when it comes to marriage, like, and I, I'm reading Rolo's comment and it's right, like, you know, the best point for a guy to get into a marriage 
he has to be willing to walk away with everything or lose everything. He has to be in a position to know that like I can lose everything and I'm still okay. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have to have the excess in order to lose it in order to be okay with it. Because if you, if you are too holding tight to everything that you have, if it, if it defines you, cause I've been through it and it's, it's bad, but the rebuilding, if you can't rebuild, if a guy can't rebuild, then it's bad. If a guy knows that he can rebuild and get through it and you know what, he, he can walk away from it, then it's, then he could mitigate it to a degree. Hey y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.